What's going on, y'all? So a lot of times when you walk into a supplement store, right, first thing that they're gonna sell you is gonna be a pre-workout or a fat burner or something that you can taste like a BCAA or like a really good sweet protein or something like that. And uh, that's to get you hooked and keep you coming back for more because you can feel those things. You can taste those things. And when you taste something and you feel something, you think that it's working, okay? The truth is though, like pre-workouts and fat burners, like they don't really do anything for your body. You get the fat burners, they kind of suppress your appetite a little bit at first, right? And then dehydrate you. Then after about a week or two, you get a rebound and everything comes right back. Pre-workouts, it's just a bunch of stimulants designed to like, kind of like pick you up at the end of the day, get you in the gym, and then when you get out, you crash. And over time, you get desensitized to them because all your uh, beta receptors get filled up and it's over with, then you go back, you're like, oh, this doesn't work anymore, I need a new pre-workout. But of course, the problem is that you are caffeine tolerant at this point, so none of the pre-workouts are gonna work. So they just keep getting you for your money instead of telling you, hey, you need to take a week off of caffeine or just back off for a couple of days or whatever because the end game here right is to sell you more and more supplements okay because you're tired and you like the feeling of energy that pre-workouts give you i mean trust me i like caffeine too i mean i think it's it's great i drink lots of coffee i like energy drinks maybe too much sometimes but at the end of the day if you overdo them your body's going to get used to it and they're just not going to work anymore so just taking more and more is not going to be Effective. You need to back off. Okay? Plus, what they're not telling you is a lot of the reasons that you don't have energy is a lack of vitamins and minerals. It's going to be that side over there on the wall that they don't ever point to, right? Unless you ask about it. Okay? And most of them are probably going to be crap. They're going to be like, you know, single pill multivitamins and stuff like that, which I've already done a video on. That's my pet peeve. Okay, but anyways, your body needs these vitamins and minerals, not just for your immune system, but to be able to properly produce and use hormones. For example, for your body to convert T4 to T3, you need selenium, okay? You're not gonna get that at a pre-workout, right? You need iron, you need zinc, like these things, you can't just take a pre-workout, right? This is gonna help you make more testosterone, make more T3, you know, help with overall hormone function, okay? Like you need these, these are the building blocks, you know, for proper utilization of your body's hormones. And if you don't have these hormones, guess what? You're gonna have ineffective workouts, your diet is not gonna be as effective, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be lethargic, you might be depressed. All of these things hinge on hormones, but they don't get marketed because you don't feel hormones work. It can take two weeks to a month, right? Before you really kind of start to see the effects of hormone. And it's not gonna be some kind of like, oh, wham, bam. Wow, I feel great now. I'm ready to go hit the gym. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh, I tore my pack. Okay, it's not, it's not like that, right? It's something that slowly and effectively builds you up and something that you need to keep taking consistently over time but unfortunately because it's not a really quick easy sell most of your employees at your local supplement stores don't even touch on that topic okay they would rather sell you something that's going to give you like that quick rush and get you coming back in a week when you run out right then sell you something that actually works because it's going to be like a month later or you're gonna come back and bring it back a week later because you're impatient and you're gonna be like, hey, this doesn't work. When the reality is you just didn't take it for long enough, right? So every day, faithfully, I make sure I never run out, right? I take one of these little strip packs and, and I love these things. I know it says take one in the AM and one at lunch, but honestly, I just, I'm lazy. So I take them both at the same time with breakfast and I love it, it's been a game changer for me. It helps me not get sick. Like literally, if I don't take it, I can tell, you know, I'm lethargic, you know, I get sick more easily, like bad sick, like 
you know, it makes me more prone to something like COVID going around or the flu versus just like a little head cold, you know, but I love these things. They've done a lot for me and I would much rather, like if you have only a certain amount of money, you need to be spending your money on stuff like this versus high stimulant pre-workouts that are only going to wear you out and make you more fatigued long-term, raise your cortisol, okay, and screw with your heart down the road, okay? These, these are healthy, okay? These these aren't gonna mess with your heart, right? But there's, there's pre-workouts, I mean, that's not gonna be good for you long-term. They're just not really regulated, so it doesn't get talked about, okay? So, that's my that's my little speech for today, guys. When you go into the supplement store and you have a budget, buy your multivitamins, buy your probiotics, right? If you have money left over, then that's when you spend it on the fun supplements, like the pre-workouts, the BCAAs, all that stuff. Fat burners, those are the fun supplements. The supplements that make you feel good, but they don't really actually do anything super positive for your body long term you need multivitamins and probiotics to actually function efficiently okay especially with the way our food supply is getting now they make a big difference and if you're hypocaloric because you're trying to cut fat then you definitely need to have a probiotic and a multivitamin all right these this other stuff is just it's just extra okay it's just extra. You don't really need it, so don't waste your money on it if you don't have it. First things first, prioritize your multivitamins and your probiotics, y'all. And if you're interested in trying the ones I use, check it out. I've got the link here, so you can see if it works for yourself. But just remember, you got to give it at least two weeks to a month, you know, before you, you know, get impatient because you have issues with instant gratification and toss it out the window and then go do some pre-workout, all right? Thanks for watching, guys.